हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन मैंशुरेशन एक्सरसाइज सिक्सटीन पॉइंट टू इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन क्वेश्चन इज द पेरीमीटर ऑफ अ स्क्वायर इज फोर्टी एट सेंटीमीटर द एरिया ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगल इज फोर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर लेस देन द एरिया ऑफ स्क्वायर इफ द लेंथ ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल इज फोर सेंटीमीटर ग्रेटर देन इट्स ब्रेथ फाइंड द पेरीमीटर ऑफ रेक्टेंगल सो हेयर perimeter of a square is given with the help of that we will find out the area of a square and with the help of area of a square we will find out area of rectangle and the relation between length and breadth of rectangle is given so first perimeter of a square is given forty eight centimeter perimeter of a square means four into one side equal to 48 so one side will be equal to 48 by 4 12 cm so area of a square will be side into side twelve into twelve 144 cm square now next they have given The length of rectangle is four centimeter greater than its breadth. If we take let breadth of rectangle is x, then its length will be four centimeter greater, means x plus four. Next, they have given area of rectangle. Is four centimeter, four centimeter less than area of a square means area of a square is one forty four. From that four centimeter square we have to remove. So we will get one forty centimeter. Here we can substitute the formula length into breadth equal to one forty. Length is x plus four. Breadth is x equal to one forty. So we have x square plus four x is equal to one forty. One forty. We can shift another side. X square plus four x minus one forty equal to zero. Do the factorisation here. One forty factor will be fourteen and ten. So x we can take out common x plus fourteen. Here ten we can take out common x plus fourteen. So we have two factors x plus fourteen and x minus ten. So x values we are getting either ten or minus fourteen. So this minus fourteen we will not consider because it is a negative. So we got x value ten. Therefore, length will be x plus four means ten plus four fourteen, and breadth will be x means ten centimeter. We have to find out here perimeter of rectangle. So perimeter of rectangle will be Two length plus breadth. Substitute length and breadth value. Fourteen plus ten. Two into twenty four or forty eight centimeter. Next we have question number forty two. In the given figure, ABCD is a rectangle with side AB ten centimeter, BC eight centimeter. This is ten. This is eight. HAD and BFC are equilateral triangle. It means this is also eight. This is also eight. This side is also eight, and this one is also eight. AEB and DCG are right angle triangle. Means right angle triangle and isosceles triangle. These two sides are equal, so we can take it as X. This one also will be x. Same thing is here. This will be x, and this one also will be x. We have to find out the area of shaded part and the perimeter of the figure. So first, we will find out this x value from this triangle. So in triangle AEB by Pythagoras theorem, x square plus x square will be Ten square or two x square is equal to hundred. X square is equal to hundred by two or fifty. So.
so x value will be root of 50 50 we can write as 2 into 25 and 25 is a perfect square so it will become 5 root 2 centimeter now first we'll calculate the area of this figure so area of triangle a e b and area of triangle d g c will be equal this will be half base into height or half x into x x into x means x square its value already we know equal to 50 so half into 50 means 25 centimeter square now area of triangle had will be equal to area of triangle bfc and this is an equilateral triangle so root 3 by 4 a square we can use here root 3 by 4 8 square root 3 by 4 into 64 16 times it will cancel out 16 root 3 centimeter square and this part is a rectangle so area of rectangle a b c d will be length into breadth 10 into 8 80 centimeter square so total area will be the sum of all these areas so total area is equal to area of triangle a e b plus area of triangle b c f area of triangle a d c area of triangle h a d and area of rectangle a b c d so a e b is equal to 25 this is 16 root 3 then 25 16 root 3 and this is 80 after adding all we are getting here 130 plus 32 root 3 centimeter square now we'll calculate the perimeter of this figure perimeter means we have to measure the boundary so we can start from any one point if we are starting from here a to e a to e e to b b to f f to c c to g g to h h to d and h to a so like this we'll get its boundary so a to e e to b b to f f to c c to g g to d d h and h a substitute all the values 5 root 2 5 root 2 8 plus 8 5 root 2 5 root 2 8 and 8 after adding all we are getting 32 plus 20 root 2 we can take 4 as common we can write 8 plus 5 root 2 centimeter next we have question number 43 a part find the area of enclosed by the given figure where a b c is an equilateral triangle and d f d e f g is an isosceles trapezium all the measurements are given in centimeter so figure is given something like this this is 6 centimeter so this opposite side b to c also will be 6 this is 3 so this side also will be 3 because it is an isosceles trapezium this is 5 this one also will be 5 and it is an equilateral triangle so the all three sides will be 6 now in this triangle with the help of Pythagoras theorem this is a rectangle so here this angle will be 90 degree and with the help of Pythagoras theorem we can find out C to E so first in triangle C E F by Pythagoras theorem CF square plus CE square will be equal to EF square 3 square plus CE square equal to 5 square 
नाइन प्लस सी ई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सो सी ई स्क्वायर विल बी ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस नाइन सिक्सटीन सो सी ई विल बी फोर सेंटीमीटर फर्स्ट विल फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इट इज़ एन इक्वल इक्वल ट्राइंगल सो रूट थ्री बाई फोर ए स्क्वायर फार्मूला वी कैन यूज रूट थ्री बाई फोर इंटू सिक्स स्क्वायर रूट थ्री बाई फोर इंटू थर्टी सिक्स मीन्स नाइन रूट थ्री सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर नेक्स्ट ही एरिया ऑफ ट्रेपीजियम डी ई एफ जी विल बी हाफ सम ऑफ पैरल साइड्स इंटू हाइट पैरल साइड्स आर वन इज दिस थ्री प्लस सिक्स प्लस थ्री मीन्स ट्वेल्व अनदर वन इज सिक्स इन टू हाइट मीन्स द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दैम दिस वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड फोर कैंसल आउट ट्वेल्व प्लस सिक्स एटीन एंड एटीन इंटू टू थर्टी सिक्स रूट थ्री सॉरी थर्टी सिक्स सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द टोटल एरिया सो टोटल एरिया विल बी we yeah, add both the areas 9 root 3 and 36 so 9 root 3 plus 4 cm square you can leave your answer in root 3 also but if it is mentioned in the question find out your answer in decimal then we need to substitute here root 3 value and calculate it root 3 value is 1.732 plus 4 so 9 into 5.732 after multiplication we will get Fifty one point five eight eight centimeter square, or we can write fifty one point five nine centimeter square. Next, we have question number forty three, second part. Find the area of the given figure. All the measurements are given here in centimeter. So this figure we have divided into three part. K shape is given. We have divided into three part one, two, and three. This first part is a rectangle. Sides are two, and this will be eight. This another uh, figure is a parallelogram, and this is also a parallelogram. For this parallelogram, this we can take as base, and the height we can take four. This completely is six, so two. If we remove four, will be the height. Same measurement for the third figure also. So area of figure one. Will be length into breadth, two into eight, sixteen centimeter square. Area of figure two will be base into height. Base we can take as two and height as four, eight centimeter square. Same for figure three. Base into height, two into four, eight centimeter square. so total area will be sum of all these three areas 16 plus 8 plus 8 32 cm square next we have question number 43 third part in the given figure from 24 cm by 24 cm piece of cardboard a block in the shape of m is cut off find the area of the cardboard left over So first we will find out the area of this M. This M we have divided into four parts. This is the first, which is a rectangle. Second is a parallelogram. Third is a parallelogram, and fourth is a rectangle. For rectangle dimensions twenty four by six. For parallelogram here to here it is given sixteen. So from twenty four, if we remove sixteen, this side will be left over eight, and this total is twenty four. till here it is 6 this side also 6 and in between 12 also will divide half of 6 and 6 so height of this parallelogram will be 6 same for this and this rectangle will be the same dimension like this rectangle so first we will find out area of this m area of figure 1 it is a rectangle so length into breadth 24 into 6 Will be one forty four centimeter square. Area of figure two. It is a parallelogram base into height eight into six forty eight centimeter square. 
area of figure 3 which is also our parallelogram same dimension so 48 centimeter square area of fourth figure is length into breadth 24 into 6 144 centimeter square so area of this figure m is 144 plus 48 plus 48 plus 144 equal to 384 centimeter square we have to find out here area of the cardboard left over so therefore area of cardboard left over is equal to this m we will remove from the square this cardboard was 24 by 24 square so area of square minus area of m area of square is 24 by 24 and this we have calculated 384 576 minus 384 equal to 192 centimeter square so in this video we are doing till here remaining questions we will continue in the next video if you like the video please do like share and subscribe thank you for watching it